if you go to the chat.mr.ai slash chat and let's test the web search out there. Latest breaking news in US cases. It started working, so there you go. So there's a shooting in Ohio and there's a weather alerts and there is a immigration news, education policies, and list goes on. So if you go to the chatgpt.com, let's select a model that has all the tools. As you can see, it has the web search, pictures, canvas, and the attachment. But you cannot select multiple tools. For example, I just want a search option as well. I want a canvas as well, which is not going to work. Inside canvas, you cannot have the search ability enabled. But this is not the case with the Mr. Lea. Let's create something, a app, or I would say the game. So let's do that. And now for this to work, we need to create some directories. So first thing first, we need to create two folders called static. Okay. So this code will be our app.py. Let's just paste that out here. So it says create a virtual environment and activate it. Install these requirements. I have installed the pip3 called this here. So it will start installing the flask. Now we need to reload this. So it's working now. Okay, I won this game, but it should prompt me with the winning you know, message, but it says an error record. Okay, I'm good at this point of time because it's very silly game. After Deep Sea Carbon's explosion, there's a new gangster in town that's also from Europe. I don't think it's new, but they have improved a lot and that particular platform is called Mistral and they have launched the late chart. So I have been part of Mistral from since they have launched because I'm very curious about these chatbots or these LLMs out there. And Mistral is quite good if you consider their codestral part because at the coding, the codestral model is way, way better and it's actually quite cheap as you compare to the other like Deep Sea, right? now and the open air itself so in this video let's test this european masterpiece and before that let's look at the pricing so you are going to get web browsing news file uploads data analysis or everything for free but also in a limited messages and if you want to do the unlimited web browsing unlimited number of messages you have to upgrade to 14.99 dollar which is quite cheap as you compare to the open ai and the others obviously deepseek is currently available for free but this has one feature that you might like that is no tele telemetry mode that means your data will be encrypted and will not be shared to train their models so that's actually a really good if you are a privacy focused person so this is about the pricing from the free you have the limited access but for the pro you have unlimited access to these tools out there and there's actually much more which we are going to cover in this video so if you go to the chat.mistral.ai slash chat and you will get the interface like this and afterwards you have a different set of tools that is web search image generation there's a code interpreter there's a canvas just like the open ai and there's also a pdf version here okay so first thing first let's test the web search out there so latest breaking news in us so let's see if there is any breaking news in the us using their search option okay so it started working so there you go so there's a shooting in ohio and there's a weather alerts and there is a immigration news education policies and list goes on so you have a similar interface just like of open ai and if you click on the sources here you will find all the sources on the right and this is about the basic search but 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 here's one thing you will be amazed for example if you go to the chargepd.com let's select a model that has all the tools as you can see it has the web search pictures canvas and the attachment but you cannot select multiple tools for example i just want a search option as well i want a canvas as well which is not going to work inside canvas you cannot have the search ability enabled but this is not the case with the mistral ai so if you go to the new chat for example you are creating some content for your blog or something for example so if you want to be stay updated with the knowledge for this particular keyword and you don't want your content to be obsolete or something you need to select web search right but here you can select canvas as well you can select image generation as well obviously code interpreter is not going to use on this you can also select the attachment so i don't need an attachment or code interpreter but i need these three because i want images as well i want a canvas to edit any type of text there because i want it to be a make it a smaller or personalized according to my needs and then a web search as well so you can select multiple tools inside that chat so if you just type that out so it will start working on it first it will go to the web search then it will open the canvas for you and then it will start writing the blog or content whatever you want it from it there you go so you have got the canvases if you click on it it will start creating the content for you okay and yeah there you go so inside of the canvas you have the similar tool that you have with the open ai the format you can change you can change the length you can 
change the low tone audience translate as well but if you want to change something inside your content you can also do that for example if i select the text here it will give you the prompt to you can optimize however you want but if you click on the magic here it says the analyze summarize something like that you can also do that but if you want to add something for example a statistics to it okay so i will add so this is how you want to create so this is something which i want and there you go so it will start creating a history the features of chi hua however you pronounce so there is a temperament there is a care there's a fun fact and you can simply type do this for the rest of the listicles or the product round of or whatever content you are creating so it will start doing that but as you see here it hasn't done images yet so we will say create images for each listicle so let's see if it can start doing that and as you can see it start working on it and we start creating the picture with the help of their pixel api or i will say the pixel model as you can see there it is it will start doing it just right now as you can see here so currently writing about the first breed and if we go to the second it will start creating the images for that so this is about something which you can use inside mr ai using multiple tools which will help you out if your desired task okay for example if you want to create some tool based on any coding format you want you can choose the web search as well plus code interpreter and there you can start the data and analysis as well the list goes on so this is all depend on your use case now let's moving on forward to the next feature of this amazing app called agents so they have agents if you just type out here it will say to call any agent you want but if you want to create that so how does this agent work agent works similarly as ChatGPT, but it is not that highly customizable yet but i think they are going into the right direction so if you click on the create here it will go to the console environment of their platform where you get all the api keys and there you have a list of models okay so there you will get to know the list of models they have they have the mistral large which is 2.1 so as you can see the input and output tokens out there you will get all the overview of all the prices here and there is mistral nemo there's a mistral small and cholesterol pixel large pixel large which i already told you it's about creating the image and working with the image and the text and there's a cholesterol which is optimized for the code so now if i go to the chart gpt and if you go to my gpts which i have created let's create something which is identical to my gpt okay so here is my gpt which is about the viral shorts creator but if i go to the customized gpt wait is my gpt let me go to the edit so here i have configured each and everything about this gpt so let me give you an overview about this gpt for example it has the web access so it will create a shot with image prompts okay for example i need some wireless shots with uh, about recent ai in advancement so it will start creating script as well as mid journey prompt for each sentence to create a fast moving videos so this is the instructions i have already given this is a conversation starters and obviously gpt has capabilities to use the tools for example web search canvas and dali image generation but platform doesn't have it. here is the instruction which i wanted to give so this will be the instructions okay and here is a demonstration how you want your output to be so it is quite recommended to add the demonstration so in this this is the input user input i need in various shots here and it has this particular output so just paste that out to let the agent know how you have to work okay so here give a name viral shorts creator right and and in the right side you need to have an active subscription to try this particular agent out so you don't need to pay anything you just need to add your card here okay so i'm just using it as a new user for you because i've created just account but i have a, another account for my agency so i've just created a new experience with you how you can use that so if you click on the deploy so it say there was an error let me do that okay there's something is going on here let it be so let me go to the live chat again so after that you need to click on just, just deploy and start calling your agent just by typing like this your agent will be here so this is how you can use the mistral ai and create multiple ai agents just like chat gpt so this is everything about the tools which you can use the agents you can use okay let's now move forward to the coding part let's create something or app or i would say the game so this is, will be the very basic so let's do that for example so that's it so it will start working for right? there's a below is a simple implementation of tic tac toe game and now for this to work we need to you know create some directories to, for the project structure so what you need to do is go to wherever you want to create this okay and let me go to the auto gpt folder here i need to create a new folder called tic tac okay and now i will open a vs code and drag this folder out there and create my project structure for the python flask okay 
so there it is and let me drag this to here so let me create a project structure here according to this so first thing first we need to create an app.py okay and then we need to create two folders called static okay there is another which is templates and under the static we need to create two folders css and under the static there will be another folder called js so there's a templates and under templates we need one which is index.html that's it and obviously under the css we need a new file called styles.css and under the js we need a game.js and there's a html and there's a app and there's a requirement.txt requirements.txt that's it okay so this first code will be our app.py and let's just paste that out here this will be control save and there's a template which should be integrated into a index.html and let me go that here which is here click on save there's a css and let's go again there is a game.js to add the behaviors of the game so this will be the js okay so requirement in the requirement section i think we need to include that i don't think we need to we need to just install that using with the help of pip but let's go ahead with this documentation okay if you are a newbie then this is how you need to do so it says create a virtual environment and activate it how to create that because if you are new to this you won't know that so let me just ask that here so let's see how it just reply that so it says to create this so i've already navigated to my project and for this what you need to do click on the terminal click on the new terminal so you are already in that particular project director right and there you need to create a virtual environment just like this and we are on the mac os and if you are on the windows you have to go ahead and do that here just type so we have entered into the virtual environment what was the next which is install these requirements i have installed the pip3 so i just need to call this here so to start installing the flask which was not installed before so it is already done and now run the flask app and to run any python app you need to just type out python app.py make sure you are in the same directory and make sure that file is in the same directory as you are in the terminal okay so here what i'm going to do i'm going to python 3 app.py okay so there is something respect call so if you have incurred some error just like this what you need to do is just copy this just say resolve the error or you just type your error it will start doing it issue the version of flask and installing your virtual environment okay upgrade so what we first is we need to be upgrade and then we need to type this particular command i think we are already in the virtual environment and let's go ahead with the Okay, so it has started installing it if upgrading does not work so let's test our app now python3 app.py okay so it has started it started as well so it's working let's go to the url you have got and there you go no control is not working let me give you the inspect and console errors there is no console error as yet so what you need to do is that I run red dictionary, client side parsing, and things goes on. Update.py. So we need to update our app.py. So let's see what type of code it gives. So let's go to the app.py and paste that out there. Save and the client side code. Update this. Okay, we need to update our JS as well. So going to our JS, there is game.js. Click on the save. That's it. Only two things we need to do: update our JS and update our Python file and something okay so list indices must be integer or slices okay so there's one more error so as you can see if we will be doing this particular coding with the help of open ai or a deep seek it will be done like this so i don't think this particular model is capable than the others but for free i think backers can't be chooses right so if it's available for free then i'm all in so there's a static game.js and okay we need to update the rjs again update app.py so let me just go ahead and now we need to reload this you don't have permission to view this page okay so is it running we need to run that again so it's working now okay i won this game but it should prompt me with the winning you know message but it says an error record okay i'm good at this point of time because it's very silly game and it's very silly code just to test it out for starters and i think it's not that much capable but if you want it just for simple usage you can go ahead so i don't think the coding part is as capable as the other models available for example deep and something like that but if you want to try the apis and if you want to use this codestral api and the other api 
रुपया है यू कैन ऑल्सो गैट दैट बट इज एक्चुअली वेरी वेरी चीप इफ यू कम्पेयर टू दर्स सो दिस इज यूरोप आंसर टू चाइना टू दू एस एंड इफ यू गो हेड एंड ट्राई दिस आउट आई थिंक स्टिल डीप सिक इज फार मोर सुपीरियर देन दिस ऑब्वियसली मेनी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज आर गोइंग ऑन बट आई थिंक दैट मॉडल इज वे वे हेड बट इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू बी कोडिंग पार्ट क्लोडी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इज वे सुपीरियर दैन एनी थिंग एल्स आउट देर सो दिस इज इट सो इफ यू हैव लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस टू सब्सक्राइब चैनल बिकॉज समथिंग इज कमिंग क्रेज ऑन दिस चैनल तो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एपीआई टू क्रिएट मल्टीपल ए आई एजेंट्स टू सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अर्टिन बाय